Hey what's up you guys and welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a top 5 glitches video. If you guys do enjoy this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more as we are currently on the road to 400 subscribers. Peace. So guys in order to start this glitch make sure you head over to this shopping center near the LS Customs. Once you have done that just grab a car that you'd like to use. Now in the gameplay I am using the Reveler GTS but it doesn't matter which one you use. Anyway, once you have done that, just jump on top of the car and head over to this little ledge right here. Jump on top of that and climb up to the walls. Then you want to head over to where the small white wall is and you just want to run over to it. Now once you have done that, you just want to grab your up anatomizer and shoot at the ground roughly where I am aiming. Then once you have done that, your character will be frozen in the ragdoll animation and he will teleport into the wall. Now you are pretty much god mode in this spot and you can shoot other plays but there are some spots where you can't actually hit them. Anyways, let's go into glitch number 4. So guys, for glitch number 4, I will be showing you guys the pearlescent glitch. Now this glitch is a very old glitch, but some people still don't know what it is. Now what you guys want to do is just, you want to use a color that doesn't actually use pearlescent, as you guys can see in the gameplay. So once you have done that, all you guys want to do is just head over to metallic and scroll down from number 1 to number 75. Then once you have done that, all you guys want to do is back out and just purchase different lights. Then if you want to, you can buy them again. Then once you've done that, just head over back to Pearlescent and you'll be able to pick whatever color you want. Now guys, if you want to, you don't actually have to use a matte, you can use chrome or the other categories. Anyway, let's go to glitch number three. Now guys, for the number three glitch, I will be showing you guys a little wall breach. Now what you guys want to do is that you want to head over to LS Customs like we were in the previous glitch. <clears throat> anyway, once you have done that, all you guys just want to do is just kill the mechanic. Then, once you have done that, just head over to the left side of the mechanic. Now guys, once you are here, all you guys want to do is just line yourself up behind the tires and use the up anatomizer to shoot. Now what you guys want to aim for is the heavy character launch on top of the tires then what will happen is that your character will be stuck in a ragdoll position then he'll teleport on the roof like this. Now there isn't much you can actually do here other than troll a few people. Now you can actually glide under the map but unfortunately in the gameplay I didn't have a parachute. Now onto glitch number 2. Now guys, this glitch I'm going to be showing you here is how to get inside Michael's house. Now, all you need is yourself. Anyways, once you've done that, all you guys want to do is just head up to the backyard and lean up against this wall here. Once you've done that, all you guys want to do is just pause the game, go to online, jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, add the same modes, and just start up air quota. Then once you have done that, all you guys want to do is back out. Now what should happen is that you should teleport inside, however this may take you a couple tries. Now guys, this is a neat little glitch that you can show off to your friends, however there are some rooms you can't access, such as the garage. On to glitch number 1. Now guys, this glitch I am showing here is old footage of the old invincibility jet glitch, but surprisingly still works. Anyways, the requirements you need is a hangar with the jet you want to use, along with the contacts mission by Martin and a high setup from Lester. Anyways, once you have done that, all you guys want to do is just exit the hangar and accept the job alert from Martin. Then, once you have started up the race, all you guys want to do is just back out of it. Anyways, once you back out of the race, all you guys want to do is quickly accept the alert from Lester. Then, once you have done that, all you guys want to do is just leave your facility or hangar. Now guys, when you are making your way back over to your jet, make sure to use a CEO buzzard or your terabyte. Now the reason for this is that since your jet is your personal vehicle, it'll just replace it with the vehicle you called in. Anyways, once you've done that, just head over back to the jet and shoot an RPG at it a couple times just to see if the glitch works. 
if it doesn't work then just repeat the glitch again anyways in the gameplay as you guys can see i shoot three rockets along with two sticky bombs just to confirm now in order to confirm that it does work the jet shouldn't move nor should it smoke anyways guys i hope you did enjoy Enjoy the top 5 glitches video, if you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more as we're currently on the road to 400 subscribers. See all you guys later.